Now, people, I'm going to tell you what a hard luck man I really am. You know, I was born in hard luck. I was born in the last month in the year, in the last week in the month, in the last day in the week, in the last hour in the day, in the last minute in the hour, in the last second in the minute. And to tell you the truth now, I like not stopping here at all. I'm hard luck old. What is it about John? He's this amazing fellow who's done all this photography and his art, and he's such an accomplished man. I knew of him first as a musician. A lot of the recordings he's done are some of the finest field recordings in the last half of the century. And then I knew him as a photographer. Iconic, really iconic photographs. Hard to feed you around here, so I struck out, folks, and here's what's happened to me ever since. You know, I've been balled out and balled up, held down and held up, bulldozed and blackjacked, walked on and cheated, red crossed and green crossed and double crossed. He sees things above and beyond the medium in which he is working. Link between the kind of folk scene and the art scene that was happening in New York in the 50s. All of these sympathetic connections. He was following his bliss. I've worked like heck and I've been worked like heck. I've been drunk and got others drunk, lost all. And over the years, I keep coming across his name. We could go through for an hour about all of the things that John has done. And then it makes a click in my brain, yeah, saying, uh, is that the same guy? Lust and disgust and boycotted and talked to and talked about and lied to and lied about and held up and hung up and doggone and I murdered. And the only reason I'm sticking around now, folks, is to see just what in the heck is going to happen next. And if that ain't hard luck, then you tell me what is. It's only since I got to know John that I realized there are lots of different Johns there.